Uh, this is a 20 minute stretching exercise. All you will need is a rope or a band. If you don't have one, don't worry. Um, I just would recommend you get one. We're going to use the method um, which is active isolated stretching is used on a lot of Olympians and athletes and it's just a, one of my favorite ways to stretch. So we'll be doing that and then I kind of incorporated a little bit of yoga because I do kind of like the yoga stretches as well. And that's all you need to know. You can do, I have made the video longer so that way you can do it along with me and I'm going to be talking through the whole thing so you know exactly what to do. So yeah, um, get your band, get a mat and let's get stretching. On the arch of your foot and you're going to pull it back feeling that stretch and then release it back down. Pull it back feeling that stretch and then release them back down. And we're going to just do that a couple more times. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstring, uh, around the knee, back of the knee area as well. And this is going to release any tension in the lower back, especially if you suffer with sciatica. And as you can see, I've now turned my foot inwards towards my other leg, and we're going to do the exact same thing. This is just... Uh, stretching the different muscle of, on the sides you should feel it I felt it in my ankle and then kind of in the side of my knee even the change of direction of your foot you're going to feel a different kind of stretch which is great you do pull it back and then release and then Switch your foot and point it outwards and release. Pull it back and then release. We'll do that a couple more times. Pull it back. Really flex the foot out too. And then this is going to get the muscles in the inner thigh and the inner leg. And then what you want to do now is pull it back to neutral and you're going to bend the knee and pull it back as tight as you can. You, what you really want is for the knee to come as close to the armpit as possible and then release. Pull it down. Feel a nice stretch in that inner thigh kind of um, closer to the groin area. Again the lower back stretched. And then release, pull it back, and release again. And then now what you want to do is keep that 90 degree and you're just going to pull your ankle towards your body. And then release, and then pull the ankle in towards your body. And you should feel a nice stretch in the gluteus medius area, the lower glutes. Again, I can feel it in my glute. I'm just putting it over towards the wall, and then you're going to release it back to neutral, and then pull the foot in and then down towards the floor. Pulling it in and down towards the floor. And that should feel really good on the side of your leg. And also around the knee and the ankle area, you should feel some stretch in there. And then now what we're going to do is just re release it down to the side. And then we're going to get the IT band and move it over to the other side. Try and keep your hips. Um, down on the floor, you don't want to create too much movement. Bring it to one side and then to the other side. Here you're getting the IT band and then go into the outer side, you're going to get um, 
the inner thigh. And then a couple more times and we're just going to release that. And we can repeat that entire thing on the other side. The other leg, so go ahead and put that rope onto your left uh, arch foot. And then you're going to bring it up and get that stretch and then lower it back down. And then again, you're feeling that stretch in your hamstring. Uh, you're going into your back. This should feel really good. You want to get a nice uh, stretch onto it, so pull it as hard as you can. Uh, and then breathe into the stretch, obviously, too. Okay, now you want to put your um, point your toe inwards, and we're going to do that exact same thing. Bringing it up and then releasing it back down. Bringing it up, holding it for a second, two seconds, and then releasing it back down. And you're going to feel this on the outer muscles of the leg. When someone showed me this one, I was pretty amazed at just the difference of the stretches compared to keeping your leg in a neutral alignment. And then as you can see, I've pointed my foot outwards towards, towards the wall. So again, we'll do the same thing there, releasing it back down, pulling it back, feeling that stretch. And then pull it tight to feel that stretch and then release it back down. And then uh, now you want to bend it, pull in that knee as close to your armpit as possible. You want to feel a nice stretch, as you can see, on the inner thigh. And you are getting your lower back as well. And you're getting a nice stretch in those glutes. Pull it down and then release. Pull it down. And then release it back up. We'll do this a couple more times. And then after, we're going to pull the foot into our bodies. As you can see, it's kind of an, on an angle. And you're going to feel that again on your IT band. Pull in that ankle, the foot in towards you. And then releasing it back to uh, neutral. That 90 degree angle. There you go. And then pulling it back in. And then after this, you're going to do that same movement, but you're going to bring it down towards your right side. And then you should feel a deeper stretch in that side leg. In your IT band, in your um, side glutes. more and then we are going to pull that leg um, over to the side to get the IT band and then you're going to release it back over to the other side getting the inner thigh and then again switching it over and we'll do that a couple of times remember to try and keep um, your hips down as much as possible you don't want to create too much movement and just do a couple more
So make your way into a neutral sitting position with your legs out in front of you. This is going to strengthen that lower back and stretch out the hamstrings. And we're just going to take a couple of breaths, bringing our arms up and then lowering it down. Bringing them up and then lowering them back down. When you're ready, you're just going to bring one knee in towards your body. Hold that stretch. And then release back down. Bring the other knee in. And then release back down. And once you've got a nice stretch into there, you're going to make your way into a lunge position, a low lunge. You're going to stretch out those hip flexors. And then you're going to bring your knee down. To get more of a deeper stretch, we're just gonna twist from side to side. So bring it up, turn to one side, back to neutral, and then to the other side. Feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. Then you're gonna straight straighten that opposite leg, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. And in that back of the knee area, and then back into the low lunge. Bring it up and just get a nice stretch. And then we'll repeat that on the other leg. So bring the right leg back into a low lunge, release that knee down. Feel a nice stretch in the hip flexors, and we're going to just turn from side to side, getting a nice rotation rotational stretch and then back into that low lunge and then you're going to straighten the opposite leg feeling the stretch in the hamstrings and then you'll make your way bringing your feet back up closer together and getting a nice deep stretch there so here just open your legs out um, wider than shoulder width apart and turn your feet inwards and you should feel a nice stretch on those outer areas of your leg thigh and calf and then especially down towards your ankle area as well you can just bend slightly if that feels more comfortable for you um, try and touch the floor if you can um, and then you can kind of just move from side to side as well whatever feels comfortable for you and whatever your body feels like it has to do and where you can feel the stretch the best. And then you'll just make your way back to the center and get into a nice deep plie and feel a stretch in those inner thighs. Hold it for a second and then you can release back. And bending over, bringing those feet in together and slowly rolling up and taking a deep breath. So now we're just going to get into a bit of yoga. You're going to go down into plank and then into downward dog. And just pedal those feet out. Feeling a nice stretch in the backs of your legs. Bring your left foot out. We're going to do one legged dog. You should feel a nice stretch in your hip flexors, your abdominals. And then repeat on the right leg. peek a -boo. And then release back down. And then just pedal again and slowly make your way into child's pose. Go on nice stretch in those armpits. And then thread one arm under. You should feel this should be opening up your shoulder blade. And then we'll repeat it on the other side, opening up that other shoulder blade. Should feel like a nice stretch here. And then just slowly make your way into upward dog, feeling a nice stretch in those abdominals. Roll your neck around, just feel whatever's comfortable for you, whatever your body wants to do. And then make your way back up to downward dog and then bring your feet into standing position and slowly make your way up nice back bend 
and rain it down all the way to the floor again. And then bring it back all the way up again. And please, 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 pretty please, with a cherry on top. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let us know what you think. Um, we want to improve the video, so I'm always open-eared to constructive criticism. And if you don't like it, don't tell me. No, I'm kidding. But just let us know what you think. It's always nice to hear um, your feedback and your comments. And have a wonderful rest of your day or evening.